Every 10 years, local governments head back to the drawing board to reconfigure borderlines for election districts. Now, in Gainesville, any resident can get involved. The City of Gainesville hosted an informational webinar explaining this community-wide effort. Senior Assistant City Attorney Sean McDermott, along with District Builder Creator and UF Professor Dr. Michael McDonald, discussed how residents can play an active role in the districting process. This will be the first time where we have this software available where any member of the public can uh, you know, draw their community, draw an entire redistricting plan for the four city commission districts, and submit that for consideration. The tool districtbuilder.org is relatively simple to use. Residents can view the demographics of each precinct and group those precincts based on their ideal districts. We welcome innovative ideas. We want people to express their communities and if these districts are not uh, functioning well in some people's eyes, we want to know that. The maps have to meet two requirements, population equality and compliance with the Voting Rights Act, which prohibits voting discrimination based on identity. The population equality requirement warrants no more than 10% deviation from perfectly equal representation within Gainesville's four election districts. We definitely want to make sure that uh, the adjustments of the boundary lines of the city's four districts accurately represent its population. McDonald and McDermott will submit their pre-recommended maps to the city commission by January 2022. The deadline for residents to submit is late April, although it's recommended to submit by January. Macy Goldfarb, WUFT News.